We gonna take uh, a voting uh, quiz. Uh, we gonna uh, go do some uh, voting. Uh, we about to yes, take a yes. voting quiz. 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 Today we are taking a quiz to find out which common voting facts are actually total lies. So we know, and you know. <laughs> Do you know a lot about voting? I know a tiny, tiny bit. I go to vote mostly from peer pressure. <laughs> and I have feel like an obligation. It's your right. <laughs> I actually made a show for BuzzFeed and one episode was all about voting. So if I f this up, I should have my America card revoked. Is that what it's called? No. We're basically gonna figure out which one of us is smarter in voting. In voting, yes. Uh, 10 question quizzes. I love a good tea, a good drag. You just rip me apart. I don't know nothing about our institution. Yeah. The myths, the truths, and the falses. Question number one. It is illegal to cast a ballot before election day starts. True or false? True because absentee ballot, because that's what I do for South Carolina. Wait. That make it false. Wait, then the answer is false, right? Because it's saying it's false. Oh, yes. Illegal. Yes. Yeah. False. What about mail in votes? You could do early voting, no? Oh, yeah. Er yeah. Early voting is a thing. <laughs> it's, it's literally what this is. Oh, wait, before election. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's false. False? Yeah. Sick. Okay. Ooh, I knew it. <laughs> yes. Nice. Correct. You can usually vote before election day. Many states offer early voting. Every state offers absentee ballots that you can fill out ahead of time and mail in. However, each state has different rules and some require a valid excuse to obtain an absentee ballot. What's a valid excuse? I just got my period. I'm just cramping. have a really I'm big, big poo and I'm just not in the same not state ready. and I can't come back can't. right now. Maybe like you're away at school mm. and you're in schools in different states. Yeah, well, that's the first question. Like, yeah, like right. it's harder. So far, one out of one. Number two. Oh, Mary, reading. Convicted felons are banned from voting anywhere in the U.S. Convicted felon. I know this one. Why are you a convicted felon? No. I think that's true only because a guy I went to high school with who was a convicted felon said that he can't vote. So, I'm pretty sure in some states you can actually vote while you're in prison. And also, afterwards. So I'm gonna say true, but I hope it's false. I'm pretty sure it's false. So I watch documentaries, and documentaries have taught me so much, especially the 13th, mm -hmm. about, you know, America's pipeline prison systems. And I 100% believe that it's true, but maybe some convicted felons? I don't know, it depends on the crime? Like, what if it's- like, they're felons. Like, what, what if you don't pay your taxes? That's a know, felony. That's cheating, yeah. You don't vote because you didn't pay your taxes? It's I true. think it's true. Yeah. I think it's true. You know, I just had to really like break it down with you and like yeah, yeah, yeah. really figure Talk out like, who it. I am in this right. moment. I'm yeah. a little nervous though. I'm not even gonna look. All right, you ready? That's true. I think it's false actually. It varies by state by state. And Florida has the craziest laws about it. It's a, a great question because right it says now. anywhere. That's the key word. It's a hot topic right now. Really? I think so. All right, ready? Bloop. Oh, it is oh. false. I was right. Nice. Woo! Wait. What? 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 No. What the what hell? What states? What states? It is a common misconception <laughs> that people with felony convictions are never allowed to vote again. In reality, the laws on this totally vary state by state. You can learn more about this on your state laws here. Oh, good for Stia for giving us resources. Because he has a link. I'm clicking the Excuse link. Excuse me. <laughs> it has been common practice in the United States to make felons ineligible to vote, in some cases permanently. Over the last few decades, the general trend has been toward reinstating the right to vote at what? some point. Although this is a state-by-state -state policy choice. So of course in Maine and Vermont, those are some cool places. I love you, Vermont. Love you. Wow, yeah, shout out to Vermont. I mean, the mountains just make me want to write a folk song. Yeah, guy in Florida. I should hit him up, send him this quiz. All right, go, next question. Absentee ballots are only counted if the election is closed. Yes, true. Uh, yeah, I, you know what? I recently learned that this might be true, so we'll see. But uh, actually, oh, oh, whatever, we'll see. Why? So why? I literally just overheard this, so I'm not sure, but I think true because I think the person I heard this from is trustworthy. That makes no sense, that would be false. 
I don't feel responsible right now because I don't know the answer. I feel nervous, confused, and I feel like this is about to get me dragged again. Yeah, that's gotta be false. I hope that's I have false. no idea. I'm gonna also hope that's false. I feel like everyone's vote should count. Vote should count. <laughs> that's like the thing, right? That's yeah! Like, that's the slogan of voting. Your vote I'm counts. I'm sure. Oh, thank God. Okay, good. <laughs> Yay! Whoa. Oh, oh Wait, wrong. That's news. To Maybe me. <laughs> I heard it from him. That's total BS. <laughs> I love sassy Allison. Absentee ballots count just as much as ballots submitted at the polls as long as you make submission deadlines. That makes sense. That was really dumb that we because like Does it's kind of it? well because think about it. It's like. It, All right, number four, that's you. Okay. College students are allowed to vote in the state where they go to school. Ooh, I should know this. The first time I got to vote was my freshman year of college. I remember I had to do an absentee ballot. I think because I went to Thanks. school out of state, I had to vote in my home state where my driver's license was registered. So I'm gonna hit false. I think wherever you're registered to vote is where you have to vote. So if you're registered where you go to school, then that's where you yeah, vote. Yeah, that's a trick question. I'll put <laughs> False. Yeah, let's put false. I never went out of state, but I think this is true because college students usually don't have like money. Yeah, I think it's true too. It just depends on like where you register to vote. Can you register to vote somewhere without an address? Can a dorm be an address? Yeah, it's a yeah. box. What? You have to re-register. Yeah. Yeah. So false. false. Yeah. 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 I agree. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> it's true. Oh. <laughs> no, well, students can vote where they go to school. The Supreme Court has ruled that students are indeed allowed to vote in their school state. Alternatively, you can register in your home state and vote absentee. Okay, so that's what I did. Okay, okay. I have questions. I'll look at the link later. Nice, we got this one. Hell yeah. Okay, cool. But that's good to know. It is good Again, to know. Again, no excuses. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> You can do it. You can freaking do it. Some states have made it illegal to take a selfie in a voting booth. I know that that's true. I heard it's true. I heard it's true. Girl, I there are legal documentations in there. Well, that's got to be true. That's true. Because remember, I remember on the internet when, you know, Obama was president and people were taking, like, little videos of them voting for Obama. Oh. So you can't take a selfie in there. Oh, my God. The fact that that's even a question is amazing. That can't be true. I think that can be true. <gasps> because then there's this whole thing that people are doing with like border fraud. I think from an enforcement standpoint, like who the f is monitoring people taking selfies in the <laughs> Who's checking? It's like they can't tell you not to do something like in the bathroom stall because right. right. I think it's just frowned upon. I don't think it's illegal. It's like don't do it. Shame on you if you do. But if you do it, you you won't get caught. Why shouldn't you do it? I think it's fine if you do. Yeah, I have no objections with it. I part, maybe it just like takes up time that you're in the booth and there's a long line and people are just trying to get in there. Yeah, cause some people try to get creative with the boomerang and mm -hmm. like try to get like their finger in. Or I, take a hundred selfies to find yeah. the perfect one. The only reason I wouldn't do it is like if I'm voting for somebody who I'm ashamed that I'm voting for, I'm like, I don't want to take this photo. Then you should take a selfie where the f you want. This is false. But I usually go early, so I look like puffy and gross. <laughs> and that's why they give you the sticker. So you take a selfie with a sticker. That's right. Ready? Freedom for selfies. <laughs> Wrong. Yup, that's true. Snapping a photo in the voting booth in your polling place or of your ballot may indeed be illegal in your state. But there's lots of other ways to let your friends know that you voted. Bing. Hey. That's what I thought. Yeah. It's correct. <laughs> because it's like important documents and you, like you're not supposed to be sharing yeah. those. That's you can't like correct. take a picture and be like, what'd you put for number four? Yeah. Do the fucking work. Don't cheat. Did he give me resources? I just want to know what states are doing this. That's crazy. I cannot believe that you can't take a selfie. I feel like that's uh, the first amendment of the first, the, I'm, <laughs> freedom, of so, I'm, I'm, freedom of speech. <laughs> <laughs> You can avoid jury duty by not registering to vote. I've never had jury duty. Oh, I had it a few months ago. I feel like my day is coming. It's coming. Have you ever done jury duty? 
No, I have not. Thank God. Oh, do you think you're gonna come after us? I'm gonna say false. I think that's false because you get it. I think when you get you maybe when you get your driver's license. Yeah, I think you're just in the system regardless. Like, yeah. There's no getting out of that. Right, because if. I think this is false. I don't think anyone can avoid jury duty. Um, but if. <sighs> I feel like by registering to vote, you're being a good citizen so that they they consider you, oh, they're good enough of a citizen to also be a voter. Oh. But, and do jury duty, so maybe if you don't register to vote, they're like, well, then you don't get to do your civic duty. <laughs> I'm, I'm full of <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say it's true, just cause devil's advocate. I'll say false. Because um, uh, they'll find you. <laughs> I think false. I feel like those have to be two separate things. We're clicking false because we feel like jury duty is an intricate system that we have experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We know that. We've done, we've done, we know this. Are you registered to vote? Yeah. Oh, yes. hey. Correct. Yes. Okay, good. False. Yes. Great. This yeah. only makes sense. Like, if this was true, no one would sign up to vote. It's already hard to get people to the yeah. polls. Voting needs to be made easier, not more difficult. Which is a big problem in this country currently. Right. Anyway, correct. Sorry, it's not that easy. A variety of sources may be used to select potential jurors, including tax rolls, state IDs or driver's license databases, and welfare recipient lists. You might as well be registered to vote because you can still be called up for jury duty. And you want to pick your leaders. So no excuses. You're f***ing you're doing jury yeah. duty, man. Unless you're like off the grid and not registered anywhere. In some states, you can vote online or via text. I wish. I don't think this is. Cause you know the kids would thing. do it then. Yeah, they for sure would. Old people love going in. They love writing pen and paper there. They, they yeah. Love Feels good. I think it's false. If this is true, then I it's think be it's false also, but it should be true. But also, like, you can spoof. Hackers. You can, like, spoof texts and text. Sounds suspicious. So, I want to say false. I mean, everybody talks about hacking every year through the dang automated system. Yeah. So, I don't think we're doing text. What if I my life so much easier? But I know it'd probably be really easy to hack. I'm gonna go false. I'm gonna go false. This cannot be true. This is not true. This is absolutely false. It's not secure. I do think that when the iPhone face recognition technology mm -hmm. is like universal, mm -hmm. I could see that happening, but that, I, I mean, that I probably won't be a life for that. Not everyone can afford to buy that expensive iPhone with the fa fancy face recognition. Right now? Right now. So perhaps yeah. one day, or you could just keep doing it with paper, who cares? Correct, don't believe that BS. Most people can't vote online or via text, but you can register, which all y'all should be doing if you're 18, are gonna be 18 by November, to vote online by clicking here, and there's gonna be a little link in this video. Yeah. Click it. Woo, okay, good. Because if it were true, I'd be worried. I mean, yeah. Good. Great. All right, red is you. Okay. This is a long one. Oh, reading. The outcome of the 2016 presidential election came down to a group of voters so small they could fit inside a football stadium. Oh. It's like one of those like math word problems that you hate. But the popular vote? Because that mm. was millions. It's true. I'm gonna say false. It's based off the electoral college, right? I really don't know. Oh. I never heard about this. I didn't know. I, ne I mean, oh. Why? Because it can't work out like that. I'd say false just because I don't know anything. Of, I'd never heard about this like specific thing. And it'd also be very upsetting. Vote! <laughs> Vote! Yeah. I think true. False. This is a trick question because I know that Hillary won by like over a million Hillary votes. Hillary did not win. The popular vote. Oh. Sorry, okay. excuse me. But no, they're not talking about popular vote. They're talking about the margin of error of right. in which she lost it over the electoral college. Electoral college, exactly. So initially I was like, no, because I know she won the popular vote right. by, by over a million. But now that I think about it, there must have been a state there was with 50,000 yeah. people. It must have been like that one state that like made the decision of the sway. <sighs> And this is crazy. I'm gonna say false, but I don't know what the actual numbers were. I'm gonna say true. I feel like it might have been pretty close. Because it doesn't, ugh, I'm so confused even how this works because it doesn't it like. Yeah, electoral vote, electoral, the popular vote. Yeah. 
Well, because I think the the fact of voting is like you're voting for your representative seat to vote for your like where you live, right? Mm, yeah. Oh, I'm I don't know. Go I'm doing true. I'm gonna say false just because like I want to know. But so then maybe true. I think it might be true. Okay, let's play it true. <laughs> Ready, go. Oh. oh. Despite losing the popular vote, Donald Trump was able to win the Electoral College by fewer than 80,000 votes. As Vanity Fair noted, This means that the voters who determined the 2016 election could all fit inside of a football stadium. What? Yikes. Yeah, it was close. Ah, 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 this is crazy. This is politics is fun. Maybe we need to get people registering at football stadiums. That sounds good, like a hot dog and a registered to vote. And it's not even for people to vote in my personal opinion, but for people's own personal opinion to be heard. Because everyone deserves the right to be heard. All funny stuff aside, there were so many people that didn't vote. I also don't know much about politics and things like that, so I'm like ill-informed. It's not too late to learn, and I think <laughs> this also has something to do with like the education system, but I do know that mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Wow. And midterm elections are really important because the people mm. you elect during your midterm election, I think, are the people who have an effect on the mm -hmm. electoral college. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure. But no, you're right. It, to pay attention to the down ballot. Like, that, that's the kind of stuff that makes change. Like, you don't just make one big decision every four years mm. for your country. Like, there's stuff happening year round that you should be, you know, involved in. Get on Twitter. Follow them hashtags. Whoa, I cannot. This, this is great. Like, that's cool. That's democracy, though. Like, shout out. Identification is required to vote in every single state. I hope I do. That's gotta be true. I'm pretty sure I did not have to show my ID last time I went to vote. I don't think you need to show it in every every single state, but I think in some states. False. Uh. Are you serious? No. That's absolutely, that cannot. I go back and forth with this because here's the problem. Not everyone has the means to get a driver's license, but every citizen does need some sort of form of ID. Okay, maybe it is true. The question is not should it be required, is like, is it required? And I think it is. Mm, true? I think it's false. Because what I've learned from this quiz, not every state's the same. They're like all sisters. They're not twins. So. Oh wait, but like you can do mail-in ballots and you don't have to like send in your ID. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'd be concerned if they Okay. Asked. So originally I said true, but now I think it's false because of mail-in ballot stuff. And I think some states even make it harder because you have to go get more ID stuff, right? I don't know. The thing is though, like voting is a right where driving is not and having an ID is not. Where voting is like a thing. It needs to be as easy as possible to vote. But if, well, it should be, but it's not, a, and also, is it a right if felons can't always vote? Can a right be revoked, or is that a privilege? Um, I think it's false. I'm gonna go false. I'm sticking with my no. guns. I'm saying this false. is true. You, there's, I believe there's nowhere in America where you could just show up and be like, I have no ID, let me vote. They will be like, <laughs> you're having a laugh. So let's see. Okay, hold on. This is, okay. This is a big one. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me just make sure I'm reading this right. Yeah, okay, true. Or they just like saw me and were like, yeah, you can vote. Yeah, you look cool. <laughs> I'm putting true. I think this one is false. Um, Turn it around. Uh, Press. And I'm right. Oh, daddy. Hell yeah. They Dana. look at your face and they're like, yeah, you cool. I know you. <laughs> you live on my block. She's fine. She's with me. I love you. Yes, yeah. No! Correct. ID is required in many states, but not all. Oh, wait. Where? Where is this freaking state? Guess what? You can learn more about your state requirements right here. <laughs> okay, I need to know this. No document required to vote. <gasps> There's a lot of them. California's one of them. I'm not surprised by that. But so you just show up? I don't know. They just trust who you say you are? That can't be. That can't be. That cannot, absolutely cannot be. I mean, but like when you just think about it, like. You should be in a list, maybe. It's not, like, it's not easy, or everyone can get like a driver's license or a, some sort of form of photo identification, and they still have the right to vote. And just because you don't have that means that you can't vote, that doesn't work that way. 
I mean, I agree with that sentiment. I think it's true. Usually ID laws are to get turnout down because usually poor people, students, mm -hmm, those right. are people who don't, don't have, have like ID. I mean, I don't think I had to use one at all. I think the lady was this, it's always this like little old lady at my polling place and she's like, what's your address? Okay, here you go. I honestly, I do mail-ins every year. I, I've never actually gone to a polling oh, place. I see, I've had I to do absentee ballots every year. Oh, I got it. Last question. Okay. <laughs> if you don't bring ID to the polls and your state requires it, you will be turned away. Well, that's confusing based on the yeah. last question. Hmm. I hope that's false because I think if you don't need an ID, even if your state requires it, you can bring another proof of identification, like a bill, maybe? I don't know. Based on the last one, and I'm just because I like love rules, <laughs> I'm gonna say true. Okay. If your state says you, you need it, then I feel like you need it. I'm gonna take a foot break. Then my foot really is asleep, and I'm old, and okay. my leg is dead. I wanna chop it off and sell it to the freaking. <laughs> Wait, are you recording? Well, that just sounds like a legal issue, so it's true. True, 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 true. I think it's true. Yes, true. I think that's also true. If the state requires you to have the ID, they will say you don't have one goodbye. But I also think that if you forget it, you might be able to get a provisional ballot. While I think this might be true, I also think it actually is false because they do give you a provisional ballot. I'm actually going to say true. Like, if your state requires you to have an ID, you better have your ID to vote. Otherwise, they're not going to let you there. It's required. <gasps> Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm wrong. You can still fill out a provi- They got us on the provisional ballot. Provisional ballot. Ah! Yes! Oh my God, it feels good to be right. What? Oh, okay. What? What? Wait. What? Wait. I'm looking you. Provisional ballots are counted once the state is able to verify your eligibility to vote. So if you forget your ID or the poll workers cannot find your name in their system, be sure to request a provisional ballot. Oh, that's good to That's know. smart. Educate me, drag me, drag me, sis. What happens, you know, you lost your wallet. Oh, try to even think of that. What if you lost it the night before and you want to uh, right. still be part of democracy? I got seven out of 10. Let's not talk about points. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? I just got six out of 10. Technically, is that, I failed, right? When it comes to voting, you know fact from fiction. Oh, when it comes to voting, I know fact from fiction too, just a little bit less. <laughs> I got eight out of 10. I only got five! Oh, oh, I still didn't do well. Like my parents would have been like, that's not an A plus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but like eight out of 10, that's okay, I got Damn. Six out of 10. Hell yeah. You know the fact from fiction. Heck yeah, man. Got them. Stay educated. Woo. Know your policies. Tall your reps. There's always shit to learn. Like the politics are so intimidating and scary yeah. to me. Sometimes I feel the reason why I don't have a lot of the political conversations is because I'm afraid of looking dumb. Same. But I think I need to get over that fear and mm -hmm. be willing to learn. Sign those petitions. Ba da ba. I'm out. My foot's asleep, so I yeah. can't get up immediately. What she said. I think we did well today. We all learned something. What did you learn? I learned that you need to get out and vote. It is actually easier than we thought it was. I think it's crazy that this past election was decided by 80,000 people. A football stadium of people determine who is the leader of this country. It's cool, I mean, it's democracy. Like at the end of the day, whether you like one or not, democracy is kind of cool. No matter what your political stance is, you should all agree on one thing, and that is to vote. There is a link below that you can click and it'll only take a few minutes and you can actually register to vote right now. So do it, you have no excuses. can do it. Do it. If you want to embarrass your friends and see how little they know about voting, make them take the quiz and then you can take it too and not tell them that you already saw this video and look real smart in front of them. With that link right below the other link. So many links. Please register and I'm calling you out. Okay? We're calling your mom. We're calling your dad, your grandma, and that auntie you don't like and I'm going to tell her that you didn't vote. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Learn those policies. Uh, uh, you uh, better vote, uh, baby. Uh, Learn those policies. Uh, you better uh, vote. Uh, vote. Uh, vote. Uh, you better uh, know uh, your policies. Uh, Call uh, your rep. Uh, you uh, are the uh, uh, best. Uh, Vote. 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 <laughs> okay, let's try it again from the top. Tie. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. It's right. Oh, wait, no cussing again. Oh. Oh, my bad. <laughs> 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 
true. Oh, oh wait, no. <laughs> How can I talk without cursing? Hell yeah! Okay, cool. That's not cursing, right? Hell yeah? Is that, is that I think for Buzzfeed, that's fine. I think that wasn't in the email.